Here is the first part of the Medici effect by Franz Johansson, in two minutes. Here we are introduced to the intersection, the main concept of this book. We can look at it as a place, a place where different cultures, domains, disciplines and all the different fields meet and stream together towards a single point. It's a way to increase the changes for unusual combinations to occur. Maybe something new, valuable or even revolutionary emerged from this process. To this, the author calls the Medici effect. Now, through this explosion of ideas, how can we identify the ones that are truly creative and innovative? Innovative ideas are the source of all innovation. They are creative ideas, of course, because they are new and valuable, that is, they have some measure of relevance or utility. But what makes us to call that idea innovative is the fact that it is realizable. Finally, innovative ideas and innovations are not the same thing, and innovation is an innovative idea that become realized. And how about potentiating the intersection of ideas to create innovation? The key is in using creativity to connect fields we thought previously were unrelated. To this we call intersectional process, much more vast than directional ones. It is an interdisciplinary approach that innovative ideas have more chance to happen. Also, there are three factors giving rise to the intersection in an unprecedented way. These three factors are the movement of people between cultures and countries with all its consequences, one of the strongest effects of globalization, the convergence of science, we are assisting to the dissolution of boundaries between disciplines, the interdisciplinary approach in science is today almost a paradigm and that is leading to new and more unified ways of understanding the world and applying that knowledge to it. The leap of computation, it let us do repetitive tasks faster, which enables directional innovation, it's applicable virtually in any field, generating possible intersections between them, it led to a gigantic advance of all aspects of the process of communication, even creating new and strongly potentiating the intersectional process. And, what can we expect from all this? New fields, more directional idea, new driving forces, who knows?